welcome to the 2020-21 Player Awards Dinner with a Difference. As a group of staff, we are all so immensely proud of your efforts this season. Um, it has been a real, real pleasure to be alongside you, to watch you grow as a team, and we can all say with sincerity, uh, you lot are the greatest Wickham Wanderers team that's ever existed. Uh, 133 years of history. Mark was about to start a round of applause. I think it was excellent. <laughs> goal of the season. Now this has been voted for by the fans on the website. Uh, there was a shortlist of six and then Uche complicated matters last Saturday. It became a shortlist of seven. I present the award um, uh, which is a stylish Claude Bernard watch and uh, a Knight UK uh, tech package. Uh, Pete, can you come forward and present the award please? Third place, Uche versus Bournemouth. Maybe a little earlier probably gotten more votes. Second, Uche versus Brentford. Another good one. And first, what a goal because it was it was uh, one touches all around and then a cracker of a finish. Abby. Oh. <laughs> Talk us through that goal at Swansea. I think it was 15 seconds into the second half. Um, some silky football, left foot, bang. Please for that one, best you've scored. Yeah, best goal I've scored. So. Good on, And uh, talk us through, obviously you joined us in January, you made a flying start in that game against Preston. What have the last few months meant for you, your career, your development, and, and overall your enjoyment at Wickham Wanderers? No, it's been good, so I've been given an opportunity to come here and play and sort of show this what I'm able to do. Tom, Addy, well done, mate. Thank you very much. Thank you. Next up, we've got Jamie Bailey. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next up is a brand new award, uh, the Worldwide Wanderers Player of the Year, and that is voted for by the club's international fans, um, which was established at the beginning of the season. So, to present this award, provided by Unite, Ignite UK, is the head of the Worldwide Wickham Phenomenon, Harry Gatt. As a joint second, we have Josh Knight and Stocko, and the winner is Joe Jacobson. Right, so yeah, pop your muscle bag of prizes down. Um, so first season in the Championship, how has it been for you? Um, I've actually really enjoyed it. It's been uh, obviously a tough test for all of us, um, but as the season's gone on, I thought we've more than grown into who we are and, and the belief and everything we've shown kind of towards the end of the season has shown that we do belong here. And, Hopefully, like um, like I said before, we, we want to come back as soon as possible. So, for me personally, it's been enjoyable. Obviously, we wanted to to survive, but um, I think we've shown that we can we can definitely come back at this level. Definitely. Okay. And play of the season last year, and now you are a cult hero worldwide. How does that feel? <laughs> yeah, it's nice. It's amazing what a couple of penalties can do. <laughs> um, yeah, it's like I said, it's been awesome playing playing the season and. Um, got a great bunch here that, um, that hopefully uh, none of them get um, see the bright lights of the championship and want to leave us. Um, same with the gaffer really if he stays as well. So yeah, so it's exciting the club's looking to go in the right direction and yeah, hopefully I can stay here for a couple more years longer. Anyway, this award is decided by the coaching staff uh, and it goes to play under the age of 23 who has made considerable progress during the season. So to present the award uh, jointly, uh, if Dobbo and Gracie can step forward. Thank you. Young Player of the Year award goes to Anis Mometi. How grateful are you for the opportunity that the Wickham Wonders has given you? I think this year has been a um, uh, magnificent year for me. Um, it's been, you know, such a great year. I think I've learned so much, not just on the pitch, but I think off the pitch. And I just want to thank all the coaching staff and 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 obviously the players for. Believe in me. That's so So our fourth award is the Supporters Player of the Year Award, um, and that was voted for by fans on our website. Um, presenting this award, which is another Claude Bernard UK watch, is the boss Gareth Ainsworth. In third place. Jack Grimmer, he's had a brilliant season there in defence. Second place, and I'll clap him, Uchi Ipizu, he's had a brilliant season in the top. And first place is Josh Knight. So, Josh, um, the fans haven't had a chance to see you play, but you've clearly made an impression. How does it feel to win this award? 
I'm really pleased. Um, yeah, it's a shame they're not we this to go uh, through the season, but we are uh, feeling proud. Oh, and oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, we know it's not the final season. And what has been your top moment of the season? Probably scoring. I probably should have won. Yeah, that was a pretty good one. <laughs> Thanks, Josh. Award number five is the Players Player of the Year prize, again provided by Ignite UK. Uh, and this one, of course, goes to the player who collected the most votes from his teammates. So to present the award and say a few words, uh, is your club captain, Matt Bloomfield. While I've got the microphone, there's a couple of bits I would like to say. Um, on behalf of the squad, Chairman Rob and Pete, thank you for your support throughout the season. Um, Pete, especially, we know you spend a huge amount of time away from your family and away from home. So um, thank you for everything you've done for us to allow us this opportunity to play in the Championship. It's taken a few of us a little bit longer than others to get to this level. So um, personally for myself and on behalf of all the lads, thank you very much. Um, secondly, Gaffer, Dobbo, all the backroom staff, um, your support to us has been unwavering all season. Um, it's been a test in times. Uh, at times it's been more testing than others. But um, you've always been there for us and, and provided us with all your backing. So on behalf of the lads, to everybody in red, um, and myself, well done. <laughs> Thank you for everything. Um, from me, as captain of this team, of this squad, I'd like to thank all the lads for their efforts. Your ded dedication and desire to the cause has been second to none. Um, I've been in squads where relegation um, has meant that there's been fragments of the squad uh, left, right and centre. But this, this team has got better as the season's gone on. The spirit has been um, incredible and we've grown. The new lads that have come into the squad, you've, you've added to us. So um, this is a new Wickham and it's an exciting time. So thank you for everything you've done, boys. Um, and finally, historically, this, this award is presented by Teresa Slevin, who is a, a key figure, or was a, was a key figure in the Independent Supporters Club. Tragically, um, we lost Teresa to cancer last weekend. She came to the um, Blackburn game, I believe it was, Gaffer. Yeah. Um, I mean, the guy I saw her in the box. An amazing woman. She was the best kind of supporter and she was the loveliest of ladies. She loved this team. She loved this club. She believed in us and she supported us at all times, through thick and through thin. She would defend us and she would support us. Every Saturday I'd drive into the ground, she would stop me and ask about my girls. She took that extra time to make sure that you felt loved and she was an incredible lady and she'll be lost, um, she'll be missed by everybody at Wickham Wanderers. Wickham Wanderers is the most special club because of people like Teresa. Some of you new lads who have only been with us this season might not understand how the supporters and the people around the club, because of the pandemic, we've not been able to mix so much. But this is the most special football club in the country because of people. And the people that are involved in it make it just incredible. And Teresa was one of them. And it is my honour to present the Players Player of the Award this season in her memory. In third place, JJ. Brilliant. Thanks. A couple of pens does get you some votes, mate. Second, Rocky. And first place, Josh Knight. What does that mean to you? Yeah, obviously I'm really happy. Um, I wouldn't have been able to achieve this without you guys. Um, I've learned a lot being here, um, from the staff, uh, speaking to Misha. Um, a lot of people helped me on the pitch and yeah, I'm very grateful. Thank you. Listen, for me, uh, I know it's been a tough season, but you've been outstanding, everyone. Uh, and, and from the training ground side, that's what the football club's all about, right? It's it's always the footballers, it's always the training, it's always the games that get recognised. But if you look around, boys, there's a few faces you won't notice in here, you won't recognise every day. And that's the office staff, that's the uh, trust members, ex-trust members, and obviously chairmen, scouts, everyone, uh, and, and valuable sponsors as well. So we understand that, uh, I just want to say thank you to all the, all the other people in the room, except the footballers, because it is always about us and they've supported you and they've been there for you this season so um media staff all the other office staff hopefully the, the, the footballers will applaud now but i'm going to say thank you to you all and uh we're going to give you a hell of a ride for the next seasons coming and get back to this level because we know you love it
Thank you. Thank you. I think we can agree it's been a strange and wonderful year. Let me give you my perspective. When Pete and his dad convinced me to buy a football team over here, I said, why not? How hard can this be? And then you guys moved to the championship, and I turned to my brother Kevin and I said, you see, all they needed was a new owner. And there they are. Now, that's meant to be humorous. <laughs> You're all going to have to get used to my humor. It's uh, not as good as others, but it's pretty good for me. Uh, what, what I have noticed about this year is a characteristic of this team. Everybody talks about the Wickham way, and it is true. Wonderful group of people, a community, a family, people who get along. But you know what I've noticed? People who are tough and understand what it takes to succeed. We have done remarkably well. But what I know is this, clubs are judged by whether they get better as the season goes along. Whether players get better as the season goes along. Whether the management gets better as the season goes along. And whether the ownership and the financial stability gets better as the season goes along. I can say without reservation, in each and every case, that has been an A+. Plus. You guys are, and y'all know it because you know the game far better than I ever will. You know you're a better squad today than when we assembled last, uh, last God, it seems like five years ago, but last August. You know that the staff has learned and grown and gotten better. You know that everybody has tried to support you and do the right things. Uh, I'm very proud, and the gaffer mentioned the off-the-pitch staff. We are probably, Pete always corrects me, I say that we're one of the five most stable clubs in all of the EFL financially. He challenged me when I made that statement this morning at a breakfast meeting. He said, name four others in better shape than we are. And I couldn't. And it's because of you guys. And it's because of Pete and the staff putting together a disciplined approach to this game. People ask me why I became involved in this sport. It's because it is a fabulous world sport that can be run right and can be sustainable and you can make a difference and it can be a profession for you for the rest of your lives, whether you're playing or moving on or just using those experiences. So I could not be happier with everything that y'all did. It would not be me if I didn't tell you that the best is yet to come in some ways. Next year when you're playing here, you'll be playing at the new stadium at Adams Park with the first in the UK direct current system, means nothing to you, it mean, meant nothing to me at four o'clock yesterday when they tried to explain it to me. But we'll be using 70% less electricity. Even as we have the biggest board, school board in the, in the championship or in League One, all of the new perimeter boards will be the finest out there, state of the art. The sound system in here will be legitimately the best in the UK. We'll have the first system in the UK where you can sit in your seat and order your food and drink. You can't order it to the bench, I'm going to tell you, so you better be playing. <laughs> we will have paperless system throughout. Every aspect of this team, on the pitch and off, will be first class, what we agreed to, Gareth, championship level all the way across and pushing at that next level. And it's because of y'all, and I want to thank you. When Matt told me about today and about the award ceremony, I, I asked for a chairman's privilege. And he said, what's that? I said, can I give out an award that to me would exemplify everything that this club means to me and Missy and Pete about our journey so far? And he said, what type of player? And rightly, when Pete and I began to talk about it and Matt we said it shouldn't be necessarily a player, or a coach, or a member of the pitch staff, or why not the off-pitch staff? Why not look at the entire Wickham family and find somebody that has meant a lot to this club and to us as a family? My wife and I, <coughs> excuse me, I must have a cough. 
my wife and I talked about who has really exemplified this to us. And we both came to the exact same conclusion. There is a guy that when we first met him could barely walk but ran. That every day <coughs> comes out and means a hell of a lot to each of his teammates. That sets an example not just for his teammates but for the community at large. And so we are very proud to give him the first Chairman's Award. And there'll be a bunch of presents and all that. But forever his name will be in this room as the first recipient of the Chairman's Award. And it is a player. It's a player without whom we would not have played in the championship this year. Darius Jones. This means the world to me because this season, obviously last season was an incredible season for us all. Um, one, if I'm honest, I didn't necessarily enjoy it because of what I had to go through day to day, but I love because of the boys I was doing it with. Um, this season's obviously been a bit more difficult, a bit more challenging. So yeah, I like, probably haven't been able to keep up with the demands of, of uh, what this league's needed, which has been difficult for me. But as always, like the club, Gaffer, Dobbo, everyone, all the boys have like, supported me, make it an incredible environment to come into and I'm just honestly I'm on a, like I, I don't know what to say. This is this is a lot. Yeah. Yeah. The, the smile says it all, uh, Tom man. Thank you yeah. so much.